My name is Victor, and I'm 23 years old. I have a story that happened to me when I was 17 years old. I work as a carpenter at a local building company, and this happened at the period when I was a trainee for the same company. We were renovating a very old apartment building from around the 1960s that was going to be school classrooms for a school that had bought the building. As many carpenters, we were working on Friday, which basically means that we started earlier the rest of the week so we could go home early on Fridays, which means it was a lot of very early mornings. So one day, I was on my way to work at about 4.30 in the morning and was walking the usual way to my bus. It was about one kilometer. It was through the block I was living on and then through a small path in the forest, about 200 meters. By this time in the morning, it was still pitch black because it was winter and I live in Sweden. So the path through the forest was like a black hole. So I grabbed my phone and put the flashlight on, an old iPhone 4S by the way, and began walking the small path. About halfway on the path, I heard a crackling noise from my right and flashed my light in the direction and saw nothing. I just figured it was an animal or something the end of the path I heard their crackling noise again, but this time it was much closer. I had always been a little paranoid in the dark, but was trying to get over it, but I began walking a little faster anyway, keeping an eye behind me the whole time. When I arrived at the bus station, I sat down, waiting for the bus, and was saying to myself that I was a coward for being so paranoid about a small sound I heard. I could see the forest I walked through from the bus station because it was only about 50 meters from the station. And when I looked at the path, I saw a man standing behind a tree right under a street light about 10 meters to the right of the path. And he was clearly watching me. He was wearing black pants and an old light blue, almost pastel colored jacket, like it was from the 80s. I felt a bit sick when I realized he was watching me even though it was only for about 20 seconds before I saw the bus arriving from around the corner. I immediately felt relief when I saw the bus. So I stepped on the bus and it was as usual completely empty. I sat at the back of the bus and looked back at the forest to see if the man was still there, but he wasn't. When the bus began to take off, I heard a thud right beside my window. I quickly looked at the side and saw an arm reaching up to my window waving at me and the arm was wearing a light blue jacket. I didn't have time to see his face because he was wearing a hood and the bus had already taken off. On the way down to downtown, I tried not to think about the man, but it was so hard because it was so weird and something like that had never happened to me before. I eventually got off the bus at my bus stop and began walking to the building where I had my working clothes and my gear. It was really close to my bus stop, so it only took me maybe about five minutes to walk there. When I arrived at the door to the building, I grabbed my key and was about to put it in the keyhole. When I saw, in the corner of my eye, peeking out from the building's corner, that man in the light blue jacket standing, looking at me. I quickly unlocked the door ran inside, locked it behind me. After that, it was two more doors. Both needed an access card, so nobody without the card could get inside. After the first door, it was a long hallway, to the left only lit up by a few lights in the roof and a ring in front of you. It was the second door that led to my locker in the coffee room. I ran as fast as I could. I was shaking at this time. There was no way I could think of how he could have got down here so fast. I put on some coffee and changed to my working clothes. It was completely quiet in the room. It felt like hours before my coworkers showed up. When they finally showed up, I felt the best feeling in a long time. When it was time to get started with working, we began walking towards the elevator that led up to the top floor, which we were currently working on. When we arrived at the top floor, I realized I forgot my helmet in the locker. So I took the elevator down, went through the two doors, and got my helmet, and was making my way back up to the others. 
When I had opened the first door and was standing in the dark hallway, I froze. I heard someone whispering my name from the back of the hallway. I looked down the hallway and saw the same man, the same light blue jacket. He was standing there looking at me. Then he said something I will never forget. You look so peaceful when you sleep, Victor. He said in a deep but shaking voice. I felt my whole world shatter when he said that. Then I ran for it. I opened the door and slammed it behind me. I ran to the elevator and smashed the button to the top floor. It felt like I was going 100 floors before I got to the top. I ran to the others and told them what happened. They just laughed at me and thought I was silly, saying that nobody can get in there without a card. I planned to call the police, but I didn't for some reason. Probably because I didn't want to look like a coward in front of the others. Eventually, I never saw that man again. I don't know if I was hallucinating or he was really there. I have no idea. But I never walk the same path to my bus again. And I always sleep with my curtains down, even to this day. <laughs> 